Hey guys, this is Fred from UTV Obsessions. Today we're installing a Trill exhaust on this uh, 23 Pro XP two seat. I will go over a couple things with you guys. Uh, tools needed, exhaust, and the process in installing. So we need a torque wrench, we need a clip tool, we need a T40 Torx, a 10 millimeter wrench, a 12 millimeter wrench, and a 13 millimeter wrench. A couple extensions, a 6 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 22 millimeter wrench. And so first step, we need to unbox our product, make sure all the stuff is there. You're going to need the exhaust, the head pipe, and the hardware kit included. You're going to need four bolts for the turbo flange, three bolts and the three nuts for the manifold to the exhaust tip. So the first step is that we're going to have to tear the car apart. So let's go over here to the car and I'll show you the bolts required. So you're going to need to take the bed out, which requires these four torque tips, those T40s to come out. And then the rear plastic section on the back of the car all needs to come off. After you're done with that, you're going to need to go on the inside of the car, remove the two seats, and remove the back wall and the back portion of the center console to access the, ba the back of the turbo. the four bolts out you just pull up and remove the center console now at this point there are the same buttons that you've seen in the center console there are six of them on these back two panels and you just quarter turn them and then first thing you have to do is you have to pull the top loose you pull out and then you can get your belts out of the way up and slide it out and then the second one same procedure pull out a little bit and then straight on up now we have full access to the back of the turbo okay guys so the next step is we have to get some of the heat shields that come on the factory uh, exhaust out of the way so there is this heat shield right there. It takes a one bolt here and two on the inside. Right there and right there. So we'll get that out of the way. And then there's a tray underneath the air box that we're gonna have to remove as well. So the second heat shield, the one that's above the turbo, you're actually gonna have to remove this heat shield as well. There's two bolts here, and there's one on the bottom side over there by the coolant reservoir.
So now if there's a heat shield that sits right on top of the turbo that we need to access the four six millimeter Allens. So we'll remove that heat shield next. Alright guys, so now at this point you can get to all of the 6mm Allens, but I like to take this one heat shield off just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Alright guys, so when you get those bolts out, it's like a clamp so you pull the top off, pull the bottom off. Get those out of the way. Now you can get directly right to those four bolts. Nothing in the way. You can uh, easily remove them. Now try to spray these things down with some penetrating oil. With the turbo, the bolts like to get really hot and they also like to break off. So be real careful when you're taking the bolts out. All right guys, so when you're doing this, you're gonna need to make sure you don't destroy this gasket. Because this gasket and the one at the muffler, we're going to have to reuse both those gaskets. Alright guys, so at this point I would like to remove the O2 sensor. So there's one plug and the O2 sensor. This is a 22 millimeter, and be real careful that you don't bang the end of it when you remove it. The first thing I do, I get in there with my pry tool and I pop it loose off the bracket, find the clip, push the clip down, pull it out. Get your 22 millimeter, grab a hold of it, hold the pipe, break her loose, and then spin it out. Be very gentle with the end of this because you can damage it. Okay. The next three, 13 millimeter. So you slide it out, make sure you don't damage the gasket. Carefully pull it off. Carefully pull it out. Alright guys, there's two springs. There's one at the bottom and that one on the side. So once you get both those springs loose. There she comes. And just remove the spring you will not need this hardware anymore all right guys so now that we have the exhaust off come over to your muffler there's these two brackets we're gonna have to tighten these up first because if you try to tighten it up in there it becomes a little more difficult so it's a 12 and a 13 and tighten just snug them up don't over tighten them and then we'll get them over by the car Okay guys, so now that you have the muffler, carefully feed it in. There's two rubber mounts to put the packs into. And then, tie up the holes, put the bolts back in.
All right, guys, so the next step is install the head pipe. So these exhausts come with these two plugs. One's for a smaller O2 sensor, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to remove it. And install the new one. Now when you tighten this down, you don't want a reef on it, you just want to make it nice and snug. And then, double check to make sure this one is nice and snug too. Alright guys, so you're going to need this gasket and one of these bolts. Fish it in there. So the tab goes to the cabin. Sorry, one of those bolts. Then you grab the other exhaust gasket with an Allen. And the nut. All right guys, so once you get all the bolts put back in, uh, you want to get your torque wrench and you want to torque these things down to 18 foot pounds. So at this point, you have the whole exhaust installed. We're going to plug in the O2 sensor. Put it back in, her, in the bracket. Okay, at this point, now that I've been touching it, what's very important, if you want your exhaust to look nice, clean off all the fingerprints, all the stuff, because as soon as it gets warm, it's gonna burn any, any fingerprints into the exhaust. So we're gonna clean off the fingerprints, get all the dirt off of it, and then we're gonna run it through a heat cycle. We're gonna run it for about five minutes, let the car come up to temp, and then we'll let it cool off, and I'll retorque all the bolts. You guys want to make sure that you are very thorough about it because any oils or anything on this exhaust will burn in and it'll be there forever. Alright, well let's hear what this thing sounds like. <laughs> 